Yo, what's up guys, Al here, and I know it has been a long time. And uh, since I've been back, a lot of you guys have been asking a lot of questions. A lot of the same questions. And so, this time around, I figured I would answer some of the most frequently asked questions, and hopefully some of y'all can get off my back about it. A lot of stuff has happened in 2020, and yeah, I'm not even just talking about COVID and Trump and all that nonsense. Really understand it until you actually see it. More than 100,000 new cases every day. Kobe Bryant died earlier this afternoon in Los Angeles in a helicopter crash. Nintendo is once again trying to kill Melee. I'm talking about just even my personal life. A lot has happened, especially recently. As a lot of you guys know, I left Riot to pursue content creation. And well, didn't really do that. <laughs> um, I vlogged here and there. I like put some videos, random videos up on my channel. But honestly, I spent most of my time just relaxing and hanging out with friends. I spent a lot of time feeling really guilty about it because I left Riot. I left a really nice job and I felt like, was I wasting my time? And the truth is, is I think I needed that time uh, to step away and relax. I was doing a lot of things in 2018 to 2019 and I didn't exactly realize how burnt out I was. I was working a full-time job at Riot Games. I was making content weekly for offline TV. I was trying to attempt a podcast with Lily, keyword attempt. Uh, I was K-pop dancing with Never. I was also just trying to stay in shape and working out every day. I literally have no idea how it was possible that I was doing all these things. So yeah, I just spent my time relaxing and doing whatever I felt like. And honestly, it was awesome. So yeah, that brings us basically to now, and last you guys heard from me, I was talking about a job I was excited to work at, uh, at Venn. I have a job interview in like 12 minutes. Um, technically, I think this was to secure the, uh, secure the job, so like, um, I had my interviews uh, th in these last few weeks, and I might be starting a new job soon. Well, about a month ago, I got laid off. And then I also found out that I had to move out. So yeah, this last month has been stressful. Life hasn't been exactly too kind, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes. So yeah, now I've moved and I have a fresh new perspective. And honestly, this is do or die for me. I hope this is the last time that I ever quote unquote come back. Okay, with that, I hope I have caught you guys up on basically the big things that have happened in my life. And it's now time to answer some of those questions. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about the filler arc. Where is the filler arc? Where is the filler arc? Where is the filler arc? And I am definitively here to tell you that it is coming back. Maybe. I reached out recently to Lily and she is still interested in doing it. However, that said, it is going to have to be it's just some kind of coordination between me and her. And I hope that we can bring more episodes of filler arc to you guys. The heart is there. We just need to figure out the logistics. First off, I just want to say I am not part of offline TV anymore. I know it's a little confusing because uh, we got fired, me and Mark, and then we came back, and then we left again. And we left on good terms. We left voluntarily. Uh, and the reason why we left was because there was actually nothing for us to do. This came right after the period where the entire group org of Offline TV decided that we wanted to do serialized content. And that's where Detention at Offline High happened, the D&D campaign, and the podcast. Unfortunately, the content didn't really pan out. It didn't get the views that we wanted, and it was really burning people out to film so often. And so, as a result, we made another shift. This time around, Fed decided that he would step up and become the content lead for Offline TV. And so, yeah, there was nothing left for me and Mark to do. I guess we could have sat around and held the cameras or something, but that wasn't exactly what me and Mark wanted to do anyways. So, in any case, we stepped down and parted ways. A lot of people ask if I'm still friends with Offline or if I still hang out with them, and honestly, I don't. Uh, I don't think it's because we're on bad terms or anything. I just am kind of a recluse and I suck at reaching out to people. Um, hell, like Mark is like one of my best friends in the entire world and I haven't talked to him in ages. Uh, it's something that I'm personally trying to work out. Also, I have one more thing and just say that I'm really proud of my time, Mark and I's time at Offline TV. Uh, I felt like we created a bunch of awesome content. We defined a lot of how content would look like for our channel. 
And yeah, I don't know, I, I'm super grateful. I know a lot of you guys know me through offline TV. And so for that, I will eternally be grateful for my time there. And I'm honestly just looking forward to my next step as a content creator. A lot of people ask what I actually did at Riot during my time there. Um, a lot of you guys know that I started there as a talk show host. I worked on a show called All Chat, and I did that for a number of years where I met some awesome people like James Dash Patterson, Melanie Mack, Jessica Negri, Sam Lighthammer, Jimmy Wong, and a bunch of other people behind the scenes. So when All Chat left, I was offered a full-time gig as a creative writer for the marketing team for NA. And that's when I worked on a number of commercials that you may have seen. If there was any animated shorts that you saw with anime music, well, that was me. The other question that I get asked a lot is what anime should I watch? And honestly, these are the hardest questions to answer because I generally don't have the info to give you a good answer. In general, if you're looking for a new anime to watch, I highly recommend, you know, like Reddit or my anime list to see what else is out there. Um, but yeah, it's just hard because like, I don't know how deep of a weeb you are, I don't know which things you have seen, so if you're coming out and asking me just a blind rec anime recommendation, dude, I have no idea. Alright, last question on the list, no, I'm still not Huhi or any other League professional player. Um, I get asked that a lot. Uh, oh. Okay, so anyways, those are the questions I probably get asked the most, and I hope that I did an okay job at answering them. If I miss any questions, you know, feel free to leave them in the comments. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. And uh, other than that, I'll come watch my stream at twitch.tv slash zell. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys there. All right, bye guys.